Hey, Daddy, I was picking my nose, and now the booger won't come off my finger. Ew, Jeffy, go wipe it on a napkin. But, Daddy, no matter how much I shake my hand, the booger won't come off. Jeffy, go wipe it on a napkin. Wait, not the Ow! couch, Jeffy. Jeffy, go get a napkin. Do not wipe it on the couch, Jeffy. Well, if I eat it. Don't you eat it. No, Jeffy, don't you eat that booger. Ew! Chicken! Jeffy, go spit it out in the bathroom! It's disgusting, Jeffy! Ugh. That was gross. That was disgusting! What is Jeffy doing? Jeffy! What are you doing? <laughs> Jeffy! Ow! What are you doing? What is this? Hey, this is my booger collection! What booger collection? Yeah, every time I pick my nose, I come back here and I wipe the booger on the back of the couch. That one right there is from 2016. It's four years old. Jeffy, that is disgusting! You're gonna grab a napkin and you clean up all these boogers! What well, if I just eat them? You're not gonna eat them. Jeffy. <laughs> Ow! Why do you keep hitting me? Because you're a bad boy, Jeffy. <laughs> you think you're a bad boy? You're a bad boy. Uh, why? You're a bad boy because you pick your nose and put your boogers all over the back of the couch. Ah! Out of your room. Uh, Chef Pee Pee! <sighs> what do you want from me, Mario? Can you please clean these boogers off the back of the couch? Ew! No! Why would I clean that? That's disgusting! No! Well, well, don't you clean stuff? No! I am Chef Pee Pee, not Maid Pee Pee, not Servant Pee Pee, and definitely not Booger Cleaning Pee Pee! Well, can you please be Booger Cleaning Pee Pee just for right now? No, Mario! No, <laughs> stupid! <laughs> okay, fine! Stop messing with me! Ugh. Do it myself and later. <sighs> Mario, what's going on back there? Jeffy's been picking his nose for years and wiping it on the back of the couch. Ew! Tell him to clean it up, Mario. I did, but you know he's not going to. Sometimes I wish I had a better son. Mm -hmm. That is it. I want a divorce. I'm on the track all day chugging my butt off, and you sit on your lazy butt all day and don't even take care of Junior. <laughs> What's wrong, Jeffy? My dad's being mean and said I couldn't wipe boogers on the couch. Where else are you supposed to wipe them? Right? That's what I'm saying, Junior. If I had a kid, I'd let him wipe his boogers on the couch. Yeah, me too, Junior. <gasps> Jeffy. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That we should both have a kid? Yeah! If we have a kid, because we both think the same, it'd be the smartest kid in the world. It, mm. it could be like an astronaut. Yeah! Uh oh, but we're boys. We, we can't have a kid together. Hmm. What about that hairy kid? He's super smart. Maybe he can invent like an invention or something and then make us have a kid. Yeah, like, like, like a machine that makes us pregnant. Mm hmm. Okay, well, let me call Harry up. Hey, we need this couch for a second. Can y'all leave? Uh, okay. sure. Hello, Junior. You called me. Yes. Me and Jeffy want to have a baby. Well, that's physically impossible because you two have ding-dongs and not keyholes. Well, that's why we want you to help. Well, I don't have a keyhole either. No, like, can't you make, like, a machine that can get, like, Jeffy or me pregnant? Junior, that's physically impossible. There's no way I could invent a machine that would get you pregnant. Well, it's a YouTube video. Anything's possible. Hmm. I suppose you're correct. I'll be right back. Ten seconds later. All right, Junior, I've done it! I've invented the impregnator! Whoa, how does it work? Well, you fill it up with super powerful energetic reproductive material. It's an acronym. And then you shoot it at whoever you want to be pregnant. So who wants to be pregnant? Well, Jeffy wants to be pregnant. Okay. All right, Junior, I just need you to spit into the top of it to fill it up. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, spit on my impregnator, Daddy! All right, so Jeffy, prepare to be pregnant! <laughs> Junior, am I pregnant? I mean, you look like it. Ooh, I got hoo -hoo's. You have some big cans, Jeffy. Get out of here, Harry. <laughs> All right, there's only one way to see if you're really pregnant. You have to take a pregnancy test. All right, Junior, go get one. All right. I'm about to lactate like a cow. <laughs> A few moments later. All right, Jeffy, you go in the bathroom and you pee on this. And if it says pregnant, that means you're pregnant. Okay, so I stick it in my butt. Wait, no, you pee on it. All right, I'm going to stick it in my butt. Uh, okay. Ten seconds later. Hey, Junior, what does pre mean? mean? Jeffy, you're pregnant! Woo! We're going to have a baby! Yeah, Junior, when's this thing going to come out of my butt? I think like nine months. Oh, that's a long poop, Junior. I feel like this thing could come out any minute right now. What, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's go to a bathtub. When people get birth, they do it in bathtubs for some reason. <laughs> okay. Are you guys done in here yet? Wait, what's this? <laughs> pregnant? Rosalina's pregnant? <laughs> Mario, are we allowed back in here yet? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are, baby. Yeah, we are. Cool. So... So what, Mario? Is there something you wanted to tell me? Like what? You know... What are you talking about, Mario? Isn't there something inside you? I mean, I haven't pooped in like two days, but I wasn't gonna tell you that. No, not that, you know? 
something else? I mean, I, I ate a lot of food at dinner. I could have a food baby. Oh, that, 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 the second word. What? You're pregnant. Mario, I'm not pregnant. Well, yeah, you are. Are you saying I'm fat? No, 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 look. I found this pregnancy test, so I thought you were pregnant. Mario, that's not mine. It's not? Yes, it is. Who else could it be? Mario, did you get a girl pregnant? Wait, wait. Well, look at me. I'm bald. No, it's yours. You're the only girl in the house. Mario, that's not mine. Then who else is it going to be? Jeffy. It could be Jeffy. Oh, no. Je Jeffy's 16. But he wipes burgers on the couch. He can't be the dad. Mario, we need to call him in here right now. Jeffy, get in here. What do you want, Daddy? My hormones are all out of whack. Mario, what the... Jeffy, why do you look like that? Junior got me pregnant. How, how, how did Junior get you pregnant, Jeffy? Well, his friend invented a machine and it got me pregnant. Oh, okay, okay, that's okay. All right, there's a, there's a simple fix to this. Um, Jeffy, come with me to the stairs. Mario, no! I'm gonna be a grandpa! No, 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 Jeffy cannot keep this baby. He's a, he's a guy. Where's the baby gonna come from, Jeffy? It's gonna come out of my butt. Okay. Wait, that's not where babies come out of? No, no, Jeffy, it's not. Okay, look, this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to call a doctor and see what you're supposed to do when your son gets pregnant. Okay, L let me call a doctor. Let me, let, me just, let me just call him. Hey there, you call a doctor? Hey, doctor, so you probably hear this question all the time, but what do I do when my son's pregnant? But, uh, no, no, actually, I don't hear that all the time, but I've never heard that before. Well, my son is pregnant. How? Well, he said his friend got him pregnant with a machine or something. What, is his friend Optimus Prime? What happened? I don't know, but like, like, what are our options? Like, what do we do about this? Well, I think your options are just the normal options, I guess. Well, like, how does he have the kid? Because you know, he has a he has, he has a wee wee. I, I mean, I don't know. I, I'd love to find out. So when it happens, please tell me. Because oh no, Daddy! I think I'm going into labor. Oh, <gasps> he's going into labor. Oh no, that's that's not good. Oh, okay. Hey, doctor, walk me through. What do I do? <laughs> Uh, 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 okay, uh, do, do you see a head? Do, do I see a head? Uh, see a head? Oh, no, Daddy, I'm teabagging like in Call of Duty. Well, Jeffy, stop it. It's a serious situation. What do we do? I don't see a head. Uh, 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 uh oh, wait, wait, what's that, honey? Uh oh, dinner's ready? Uh oh, sorry, guys, I gotta go. Dinner's ready. Oh, no, 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 you're the doctor. I need your help. Oh, uh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. I, I'm going into a tunnel. I, 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 can't, I can't hear you. Sorry. You're not going into a tunnel. I can see you. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, um, uh, Jeffy, just, just breathe, just push, push, push. Uh, that, that is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. No, it isn't, Mario, it's cute. Dada! His first word! I don't want to be a part of this, I don't want to be a part of this at all. Jeffy, what are you going to name him? Um, I think I'm going to name him Jeffy Jr. What? Jeffy, you had the baby? I sure did, Jr. Mama! What? Me, Mama? Wait, didn't Jeffy give birth to you? Yeah, why are you calling him Mama? I'm your mommy! Dad, Mama! Oh, okay, okay, I don't want any more crying. Oh no, you boys made a commitment, now you have to take care of it. Five hours later. Oh, look, Jeff, Jeffy Jr., Jeffy Jr., Jeffy Jr., look, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> shut up, shut up! Oh, oh, Jeffy, oh, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna take care of this? Um, well, I'm gonna be the daddy. And since I'm the daddy, I still gotta go to school because I gotta provide for this family. Okay, so you're gonna go to school tomorrow and I'll just be a stay-at-home mom. <laughs> All right, Junior. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to bed because I gotta get up early for school tomorrow. So okay. I'll see you later. Mama! Shut up! Oh, look, 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 we're going to, uh, <laughs> we're gonna go uh, rock in the crib real quick. Mama! All right, Crafts, since you all are so stupid, we're going back to basic math. So does anyone know what one plus one equals? Um, one plus one equals three. No, how the f- How? How do your stupid brain get three? One plus one, how do you get three? Because the two ones did it, and then they had the baby, and then that equals three people. No, one plus one did not do it. They numbers, how they gonna do it? They ain't got PPs and Dities. One plus one is two. No, the answer is three. Because when two people do it, and they have a baby, that's three people. Explain to me how there's two. Unless they did it with protection, but you didn't tell me that. So the answer is two. I don't want to hear it. One plus one equals two. Oh, my phone's ringing. 
Hello? Jimmy! Jimmy Jr. will stop crying and breaking stuff. Can you please come home and help? Well, can't you handle it? Jimmy, I am a stay-at-home mom. I need the dad's help. Well, I'm trying to learn basic math right now, Junior. I'm trying to provide for this family. Oh, well, can you please come home, please? I'll see what I can do, Junior. Jeffy? Jeffy, are you using the phone in class? Um, I'm on the phone right now. My kid needs me at home. Jeffy, there is no way that you have a kid. No one gonna wanna park with you. <laughs> you telling me someone gonna park with you? <laughs> no way. Jeffy, just come on, hurry. <laughs> All right, I'm on my way, Junior. All right. I'll go ahead and give you an F for the semester, Jeffy. Shut up, shut up. What's wrong, Junior? He just won't stop crying. Well, have you tried feeding him? What, it eats? Yeah. Well, uh, okay, uh, look, bring him downstairs, and I'm going to see if Jeffy can make him something to eat. All right, Junior. Come on, Jeffy, Junior. <laughs> Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, what do you want, Junior? Can you make some baby food? Dang, how many times are you going to eat today, Junior? <laughs> that was a good one, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, you roasting them. <laughs> you, you, you get it? Because I'm, I'm calling you a baby. Well, no, it's not for me. It's for my son. <laughs> sure. Well, you, Junior, you don't have a son. You're the baby, so I'm going to make you some baby food. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, Chef Pee Junior. Here's your baby food. Uh, I'm not even going to ask. All right, Jeffy Jr., eat your food. <laughs> well, he's definitely my kid. Oh, well, how about some Chick-fil-A mac and cheese? Yay! He's definitely my kid. A few moments later. I'm so glad Jeffy Jr. ate his dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Get out! You destroyed my golden Thomas! <gasps> and you destroyed my car piano! <laughs> I don't want to have a kid anymore, Jeffy! Jeffy, did you go to timeout? <laughs> Jeffy, I don't want to have him anymore! I don't want him anymore either, Junior! You destroyed my golden Thomas! It was so rare! My favorite cat piano. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna make some phone calls and see if someone will adopt him from us. Okay, <laughs> Junior. Jeffy Junior, where'd you go? You're in good spending right now! Jeffy Junior, where are you? <laughs> Alright, Jeffy, there's someone at the door here to get Jeffy Junior. But but we're picking boogers and putting them on the cow! So you actually want to keep him? Um, yeah. He broke my golden Thomas and your cat piano. Oh, you right. Yeah. You're right. All right, Jeffy Jr., there's someone at the door for you. Mama? Uh, hello? Hi, I'm here to uh, pick up kid who are really good at making an iPad. Um, he's right here. It's our son. Oh, he's a boy? I hit a jackpot. Ding, 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 ding. Well, bye, Jeffy Jr. This is your new home. Mama. Bye. Hi, Dad. Uh, is he gonna have a good life? Oh, he's gonna be a super smart. He a freak of nature. He gonna grow up and fight Godzilla. <laughs> he even ripped like Godzilla. But he gonna have good life. He gonna be super smart. So come on. Mama! Bye. Well, we got rid of our son. Yeah. Remember when you wiped boogers on the couch? Remember when he ate his mac and cheese? Remember when he threw his green beans and shattered the plate? Did we make a mistake, Jeffy? No! no. <laughs>
I lit it on fire. So that's how important that car is to me, Marvin. Well, then if it's so important to you, why are you driving it? Because I wanted to show it to you. Okay. Now, I'm going to go inside and take a piss, and don't you let anything happen to this car, okay? All right, I won't let anything happen to it. All right. Hey, Danny, can you take my picture next to your car? Yeah, just don't touch it. Let me get my phone. All right, Jeffy, say cheese. Cheese. Wait, you're too close to the car. Get away from it. Okay. Hold on, let me turn the flash on. Oh, you dropped your phone and hit the rich guy's car. Now you're going to go to Madagascar with the lemur. What? No, no, I don't think it left a mark or anything. Yep, it left a scratch, Daddy. Oh, oh my God. Wait, did I, did I cause that scratch? Yeah. No, no, no. It can come off. It's not coming off, Daddy. Oh, okay, look, look, he's not going to notice it. Look, it's nighttime, and... and and it was there before I did that, right? No, your phone hit it and did that. Oh, no, 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 Jeffy, let's go inside and let's not talk, let's not talk about it, come on. Ooh. All right, Jeffy, do not say anything. Hey, Marvin. Ah! Hello to you, too. Did you get done looking at my car? Yep, we're, we're done looking at it. It is gorgeous. Did anything happen to it? No, no, nothing happened to your car. Well, my daddy dropped his phone. I, I, I dropped my phone on the ground and broke the screen. How poor. Anyway, have a good day, Marvin. I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah, Jeffy, come, come inside. Who was at the door, Marvin? It was Goodman, that's all it was. Oh, what did he want? He wanted to show us his new car. Ooh, was it nice? It was nice until Danny dropped his phone and scratched the hood of his car. You did what, Marvin? It was an accident. Look, Jeffy wanted a picture next to the car, and I tried to take it, and I dropped my phone and scratched it. Marvin, what did he say? Well, he doesn't know about it yet. Marvin, you need to tell him. Well, he's going to kill me if he finds out. Actually, he's not going to kill you. He's going to put you in a crate and ship you to Madagascar to be with the lemurs. Marvin, he might appreciate your honesty. Steve. He's not going to appreciate that. So what are you going to do when he notices? Look, 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 it's nighttime. He's not going to notice it tonight. If he does notice it, it'll be tomorrow and it won't be our problem. He'll think like it happened in his garage or something. I think he noticed, Marvin. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go answer the door and uh, just make my funeral nice, okay? All right, Danny, I'll send you a postcard to Madagascar. Hello. Marvin, what is wrong with you? I'm so sorry. It was an accident. I didn't mean to do you it. You left your phone on the ground. And you told me the screen was cracked, and it's not. Oh, thank God it didn't crack. I thought it did when I dropped it. That makes you a liar. And I don't like liars, Marvin. Next time you lie to me, you're getting a spanking, and I'm going to cut your tongue off and sew it to my mouth. Then I'm going to have two tongues. Uh, but uh, here's your phone back. Take your poor phone. Who do you think you are, me? You can't just leave iPhones laying around on the ground. Ew, poor. Okay. I, there you go again. I, Jesus, Marvin. I, I can't deal with you right now, okay? I, I think it actually is cracked this time. So did he notice, Marvin? Obviously not, Mommy, because he's not on his way to Madagascar right now. Look, he just wanted to give me my phone back. So he didn't notice. No, and he's not going to notice, so we don't have to worry about it. Unless I tell him. Jeffy, you wouldn't. Marvin, you wouldn't have to worry about that if you just told him yourself. I'm not going to tell him because I don't want to die. And Jeffy, you're not going to tell him either. Well, I'm going to tell him unless you do every little thing that I say. Jeffy, we're not doing that. All right, well, it looks like I'm going to call him and tell him what happened. Oh, Okay, fine. I'll do whatever you want. Oh, I don't want any part of this. All right, Danny. The first thing I want you to do is give me a foot massage. Ew, that's gross. I just need to... Oh, All right. I really need you to get in between the toes. You don't have toes, Jeffy. Well, then get to rubbing my nub, Daddy. That sounds inappropriate. <sighs> okay. Oh, my God. Ew. <laughs> Stop doing that. Oh, Daddy, rub my feet. That's gross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're done with that. We're done with that. That's gross. Okay, so what do you want me to do now? Um, oh, hold on, Daddy. I gotta go get ready and I'll give you your next task. Get ready? All right, Daddy. Put this on. What, Jeffy, why are you wearing a bunny outfit and why do you want me to put one on? Because we're gonna listen to Hop Hop and dance together for an hour straight. Oh, I love the Hop Hop song. I'm not gonna dance to the Hop Hop song for an hour straight. All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna call Mr. Goodman and tell him what happened. Ugh, I'll do the dance. I just don't want to wear the bunny outfit. Oh, you're gonna wear the bunny outfit. I'm not wearing the bunny outfit. This is ridiculous, Jeffy. All right, Daddy, you ready to start hop hopping? No. All right, here we go. Oh, hop, 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 like Daddy, you're not hopping. Hop, 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 like Can we stop now? No, we're only a few seconds into our hour. Oh, an hour. I can't go any longer, Jeffy. Hop, 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 hop. And done. All right, Jeffy, can I take this ridiculous outfit off now? Sure, Daddy, but just remember, before we go to bed, you gotta put it right back on. <sighs>
I'm so glad I got to take that costume off. Marvin, I'm so tired after doing that dance. I think I'm going to go to bed. Yeah, me too. Uh-uh-uh, Danny. You still got to do more stuff for me. Come on, Jeffy. I just danced for an hour. I'm tired. Well, I want you to shave your mustache off now. What? Shave my mustache? I'm not going to shave my mustache, Jeffy. Yes, you are, and you're going to give it to me. What? No, Jeffy. My mustache makes me look good. Who said that? Well, Jeffy, I'm not shaving my mustache off. You're going to shave that mustache off or else I'm going to call Goodman. Oh, okay, I did it. I shaved my mustache off. Why did it come off in one piece? Oh, I feel so naked without my mustache. Can I please glue it back on? No, Danny, I'm going to be you now. Oh, Jeffy, you're grounded. You got to eat green beans and no fun things, bitch. Jeffy, give me my mustache back. No. Marvin, are you coming to bed? <sighs> give me a second, baby. Ew, who are you? Wait, who are you? <laughs> It's me, baby. Oh, Marvin, I definitely wasn't talking to another man just now. Oh, you're back. Marvin, where'd you come from? Just go to bed, baby. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Jeffy, can I please go to bed now? No, Danny. Now I want you to dress up just like me. Why? Because I've always wanted a twin. <sighs> I don't feel like dressing up like you, Jeffy. You're going to do it or else I'm going to call Mr. Goodman. <sighs> All right, Jeffy, I'm dressed up like you. Oh, Daddy, look, you're like a little mini-me. Yeah, what do you want me to do now? All right, Daddy, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go, oop. I don't know how to do that. Well, Daddy, it's easy. You just open your mouth like this, uh, and then you go, oop, oop, oop. No, Daddy, you got to put some effort into it like this. Oop, 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 oop. Uh, 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 uh. No, Daddy, you got to try hard like this. Oop, 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 oop. Uh, uh, uh. All right, I guess we'll work on that later. All right, the next thing I want you to do is smack your diaper like this. <sighs> no, Dan, you gotta put some hate behind it like this, like, uh, 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 like bad peepee. You've been a bad peepee. Uh, 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 uh. I don't think I can do it that hard. Well, you gotta try, Danny. Uh, no, uh, Danny, like this, like you gotta lay on your back, and go. Uh, 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 I'm not. I'm not gonna do that, Jeffy. All right, Danny. Well, I guess we won't do the diaper smacking. Okay, so I can go to bed. No. Now you gotta fight my bully. Well, I'm not gonna fight your bully, Jeffy. Well, I'm getting tired of fighting him, so I need you to fight him, okay? What? No! Alright, well, I'm calling him. Wait, wait no, 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 call him. Oh, it's ringing. Hello? Hey, loser, why are you calling me? How'd you even get my number? Well, I'm calling you because I don't want to fight you. No, 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 we don't. All right, I'll be right there. Okay, yeah, I want to fight you at the front door. I want you to fight me like you've never fought anybody before. No. Okay, that's kind of weird, but all right, I'll do it. All right, good. Well, I, I, Jeffy, I'm not going to fight your bully. He's a kid. Well, he's on the way, Daddy. I'm not going to fight him, Jeffy. Oh, I think that's him at the door now. Oh, look, I'm not going to fight him. I'm going to go talk to him like a normal person, and I'm going to de-escalate the situation. Hello? Hey, nerd, you ready to fight? No, I would not like to fight, young man. I think we should peacefully resolve this situation by using our words. <laughs> Clocked your ass. Uh, all right, Jeffy, I fought him. Daddy, you lost? How do you know? Because I'm on the phone right now and he's bragging about it. Ha <laughs> ha, how's it feel to get knocked out, loser? Daddy, I've never lost to him ever. You stupid dog, you make me look bad. Ooga booga 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 booga. You know what? I actually didn't lose. You fought my clone. You don't have a clone. Yes, I do. Come to my house right now and I'll show you that there's two of us. There's someone at the door, Jeffy. All right, Daddy, come on. That must be him. We got to show him that there's two of us. Me. Two of me. Uh, uh, come on. Two of us. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Goodman, oh no, did you find out? Find out about what? Uh, nothing. Why are you crying? Oh, Marvin, it's awful. This is what happened. I was driving down the road in my brand new Lamborghini, and all of a sudden I see an Amazon Prime truck driving right in front of me. So I speed up and crash right into it. And then I sue Amazon, and Jeff Bezos settled out of court for a measly $100 million. And that's all they think my life is worth. A measly $100 million. But the worst part is, Marvin, my Lamborghini, one of 800, is total, and the front of it isn't even recognizable anymore. It isn't? Why are you so happy about that? It was one of 800, Marvin. I figured you'd be sad. I could have been killed. Oh, no, no. I, I, just, I just can't believe the front of it's not recognizable anymore. You hear that, Jeffy? So, so yeah, I, just, I was shocked. What are you going to do now? Oh, I already bought another one. What, you did? Yeah, it, it, I mean, now it's one of 799 because I totaled the other one, obviously. But it's the same color and everything. You like it? it you yeah. See? I don't know if you can see it back there. Yeah, it, it looks nice. Yeah, so why are you dressed like that? 
Oh, my, my son bet me to, to, to dress like this. Oh, that's cute. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go drive my brand new Lamborghini. See you later, Marvin. Okay, watch out for those Amazon Prime trucks. Ha ha, Jeffy, you hear that? Goodman crashed his Lamborghini, so you can't blackmail me anymore, so uh. Marvin, why are there so many people ringing the doorbell? It's late. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin! Jeffy! Ew! Jeffy, are you ready for dinner? Mommy, I swear, if you guys try to feed me green beans again, I will unleash a rage unlike anything you've ever seen before. I will say the worst word I can possibly think of in that moment. <clears throat> oh, Jeffy! Alright, Jeffy, here's your dinner, green beans. Jeffy, that's not a bad word. Well, the second word is, the second word means BB. Well, Jeffy, don't say that. Well, the YouTube robot didn't hear me say it, and it does mean BB. Well, Jeffy, just eat your green beans. Uh, I don't have to. Uh, you do have to. Uh, I know you know. Jeffy, eat your green beans. Why? Because they're good for you. Why? Because they're green. Why? Because they're a vegetable. Why? Because. I don't know, Jeffy. Uh huh, I got you, Dave. Don't have to eat it. Oh, Jeffy, what can I do to make you eat your green beans? Um, stick your head in the porta potty for 10 minutes. Jeffy, th th what's something realistic I can do? Hmm, stick your hand in the porta potty for 10 minutes? No, Jeffy, what's something not gross I can do? Make me a milkshake. You're not drinking a milkshake, Jeffy. That's unhealthy. Says the fat guy. What? Jeffy, there is no fat shaming in this household. Uh huh. Just because Mario's fat. What? 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 No, no, Jeffy, look, look just, just eat your green beans, okay? I'll get you a milkshake after you finish your green beans. Dang, this is not my first rodeo. I'm not even taking these green beans in my mouth until there's a milkshake sitting right here. So, tooth that bottom. All right, Jeffy, you want a milkshake? I'll get you a milkshake. Good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mario, what are you doing? <sighs> Making Jeffy a green bean milkshake. Mario, that's disgusting. <clears throat> no, it's healthy. He's not going to know. He's going to think it's a milkshake, okay? Mario, that's not going to work. It's going to work. Trust me, baby. Look, let me just add the milk. Oh, Ew. yeah. That's looking like a milkshake. Uh-huh. Oh, that's so gross, Mario. Just trust me, baby. He's not going to notice it. Now watch this. milkshake aroni. Uh-huh. No, Mario. It looks delicious. You can't feed him that. Look, he's not going to know, okay? No one's going to know. No one's going to know. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, here's your mess. Jeffy! <laughs> oh! What? You're already back? Well, Jeffy, well, you said you didn't eat your green beans. That means you don't get your milkshake. Well, good, because I literally just watched you guys with my own two eyes put cans of green beans in the blender and blend it up and try to pass it off as a milkshake. Well, Jeffy, what are you talking about? We didn't do that. You guys were literally five feet from me. You were standing right there. It's true, Mario. He saw us. What? Jimmy, drink your green bean milkshake right now. Okay, Dang. Let me just take a sip. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, what? Oh, what? Jimmy! Stop it! Jimmy, you know what? You're going to eat your green beans. I'm going to give you uh, five more cans of green beans. Dang, you'll never get a green bean down my throat. What? <laughs> Mario, why don't we try feeding him something else? Never! Never! Jimmy, this makes war! Oh, he's gonna get some green beans. He's gonna eat some green beans tonight! <sighs> Jeffy's eating some green beans. I sure showed my daddy I'm never eating green beans ever, ever again. Hey, Jeffy. Who's that? Your worst nightmare. Daddy? Why do you sound like that? You should've ate your green beans when you had the chance. No more Mr. Nice Guy. And why are you wearing those goofy glasses? You're gonna regret not eating your green beans. Well, I'm not eating them, so I don't know what you want me to say. Do me a favor. <sighs> say, uh... You missed! Ha ha! I don't miss twice. 
Huh. Okay, maybe I missed twice, but I won't miss a third time. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Bullseye. Uh, Jeffy, you chose the hard way when you should have chose the easy way. <sighs> Mario, how's it going? I just fed Jeffy a mouthful of green beans. Oh, good. Did he like them? Sent him right to sleep. Mario, Jeffy's not breathing. But he's not. Oh, he's just playing around. He, he just acts like that because it tastes so bad. Well, how did you feed it to him? Shot it down his throat with this Nerf gun. <gasps> Mario, he's choking! Well, he's not choking. He looks nothing like the Atlanta Falcons. Mario, Mario, you have to give him the hype like he's dying! Well, I'm not going to lick his butt. Mario, we need to call the doctor right now so he can save Jeffy! Oh, oh, Jeffy, come on. Stop playing around. Mario! Stop playing around, Jeffy. Mario, call the doctor! Okay, okay, I'll call the doctor. <laughs> Hey there, somebody Doctor, call Doctor, my son is choking! D -d 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 hold on, let me finish my line first. <clears throat> hey there, somebody call a doctor? Doctor, my son is choking! Hold on, hold on, I'm the doctor here. No one's choking unless I say they're choking. Let's take a look. Um, hmm. Yuck. Well, the good news is he's not choking. Really? Yeah, the bad news is he already choked. What? He already choked? Give him CPR! Mm, hold on, how old is he? 16. Ooh, yeah, sorry, no can do. 18 and up, that's my rule. Huh? You're not dating him! Well, you don't know. You know, it starts with the kiss, and then maybe you go out to dinner, and one thing leads to another, so I just want to play it safe. 18 and up. You know, call me in two years, we'll see what happens. Well, so there's nothing you can do? Like, well, what's wrong with him? Well, I mean, he's dead, man. <laughs> the worst part of the job, honestly. I'm gonna tell parents that their kid croaked. It's like I come out of the operating room, they're like, how is he? And it's like, ugh, can I just text it to you? Because I don't really want to say it out loud. Mario killed him! I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? Okay, should I be getting my cop uniform? Oh, no, 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 this is what happened, this is what happened, look. I, I took this Nerf gun, and I put green beans in it, because Jeffy wouldn't eat his green beans, and I shot him down his throat, and then he choked. I, I don't, I, this isn't really looking too good for you. Oh, no, 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 it, it was an accident. Uh, okay. uh, uh, excuse, excuse me, miss, 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 yeah, yeah, could, could, could you keep it down? We're trying to have a conversation. Could, could you just take that to another one? I'm sorry, I'll go, I'll go, I'll Thank you. Go. Oh, my God, you have to live with that? Jesus, I was, I was going to arrest you, but that's punishment enough. You're going to be deaf. Oh, so, so Jeffy's really dead? Well, yeah, he's dead. Like, he's gone forever? Like, there's no bringing him back? Yeah, that's what dead means. Well, what? So, so there's nothing you can do to bring Jeffy back? I mean, you could try burying him in the pet cemetery. What's that? Well, it's a movie I saw one time. It's like these people, they bury the pets in like the cemetery, and the pets come back to life. Is that real? No, man, it's a movie. Well, then why would you tell me about that? I just thought it was cool. I don't know. So you can't bring Jeffy back to life? No, sorry. <laughs> I can help you bury him, though. Uh, you can help me bury him? Yeah, I'll go get my shovel, and I guess we can just bury him in the backyard like a like a pet hamster or something. Well, come on. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing you had a spare piece of wood we could call ripping through, though. Oh, I miss him so much, it's all my fault. Oh, oh yeah, uh, some advice. If you ever sell your house, uh, let the people who live here after you know that your son's buried in the backyard. You don't want them getting a nasty surprise when they try to put a pool in. Okay, I'll remember that.
Darren. Oh, we have to remember him. Why is this helmet? Oh, baby. I'm so sorry, but we can always make another one. Who do you mean, Mario? We can always make another, Jeffy. But Jeffy ate all the Play-Doh. I didn't mean make about a Play-Doh. Then what did you mean, Mario? Just forget it. Look, just after a while, it'll be like Jeffy never existed. You did this. Well, it was an accident. I was just trying to feed him his vegetables. And it cost him his life. Look, if I could bring Jeffy back, I would. You know I would. I didn't mean for him to, I didn't mean for him to choke. You know, I didn't know that was going to happen. I thought he was just going to eat his vegetables. Look, maybe if I could bring Jeffy back, I would. But that'll never happen. He, he's gone forever. But I miss him so much. Is that my phone? Jeffy's calling. J Jeffy? Answer it, Mario. This better not be some type of prank. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, you got you got the wrong number. Bye. Was it Jeffy Mario? Well, I mean, he's dead, so no, it's not him. It's, someone has his phone and is messing with us. We had to disconnect that number. Uh, Who's at the door? I don't know, Mario. Uh, answer, answer. Um. Uh, let me check. Yeah, that's Jeffy. That's definitely Jeffy. Okay, so let's call a doctor and see if he can be saved. So maybe he has some life in him. And he's just really sick, you know? Okay. Come on, Jeffy. Come on, come on, Jeffy. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, doctor. My son is a zombie. A zombie? Mario, I don't want to stand by him. I'm afraid he's going to eat me. All right, Jeffy. Look, get away from Rosalina. Come closer to me. Come closer to me. Touch me, touch me. I need to take a shower. I need to take a shower. Ew, 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 ew. Wipe it off. Ew. No, don't touch me with that. So, so what do we do about my son being a zombie? Well, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Like, he just showed up at our front door, breathing like that and acting all scary. Like Maybe he's still alive. Maybe he needs medical attention. Well, I guess I could give him like a like an examination or something. I mean, clearly his arm is missing. and That eye looks like it's gone bad. Wait, Jeffy, show us the top of your head. Oh, yeah, his brain's sticking out. That's not good. Was it like that already? I don't know. He always wore a helmet, so I don't know if his brain was sticking out. Oh. Well, I do like those sweet designer jeans he's wearing. Oh, hey, hey, you get those at Abba Zombie and Fitch? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get it? Like, like Abercrombie and Fitch is the clothing store, but, but he's a zombie, you know? So, so like, he'd shop at Abba Zombie and Fitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah we get it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get it like Abba Zombie and Fitch, because, you know, it's like a pun, you know? Okay, is there anything you can do about our son being a zombie? Like, can you bring him back to life? Well, I don't know about that, but I do know zombies eat brains, and we should probably get him some brains before he gets hungry. Yeah, we, we don't want him to eat our brains. Huh? Ooh, I just remembered. I have a whole bunch of brains in my car. I'll be right back. Uh, okay. Mm -mm. 
These brains look delicious. Why do you have a plate full of brains in your car? What, you don't like to get a little road brain? I like to munch on these while I'm driving. You eat brains? Well, yeah, when you eat somebody's brain, you learn everything they know. Like, let me check this guy out. Mmm, ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Did you know that when the queen ant dies, all the other ants in the colony also die because they live off of the queen's poop? That guy was an entomologist. What? Okay, well, we shouldn't maybe feed these brains to Jeffy. He's the one that's a zombie. Oh, yeah. Sure, here you go, Jeffy. Jeffy, chew with your mouth closed. Uh, Alright, so now that he's eating those brains, what do we do? Can, can we turn Jeffy back into a human? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, I have an idea. If I, if I try tasting all these brains, maybe one of them will know what to do. Okay. Okay, let me try this one. Hmm. Hmm. Go on, Jeffy. Huh? Oh, okay. <sighs> Oh, oh, okay, okay, yeah, I, I, I think I know what to do. What? Well, you see, Jeffy came back from the dead because he wants to teach you a lesson. Now, if only the one of these brains spoke zombie. Huh? Yeah, that, that, that was the one. Okay, Jeffy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh, 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 <laughs> what, what, what's, he, what's he saying? Shh, shh, shh. Uh huh, I see, I see. Okay. What, what, what's he want? Well, you see, what Jeffy needs is he needs you to stick your head in a porta potty for 10 minutes. What? Yeah, that's what he wants. What? Is, that, is, that, is, that, is there anything else I can do? Well, let me ask. <laughs> yep, that's what he wants. <laughs> you should probably go do it. Okay, I'll do it. I'll, I'll go to the porta potty. Okay, there's a porta potty. The bounty once told me. Oh, hey, donkey. Shrek, you were in there? Yeah, donkey. I gave birth to a little crap baby out of my butthole. Eight pounds, three ounces, donkey. I'm a proud mommy. Well, 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 so, so it stinks really bad in there? Oh, yeah, donkey. I think the stench is starting to breach the doorway. Hurry up and get a whiff, donkey. One, two, three. All right, do it with me, donkey. <laughs> oh, God, it smells so bad. Yeah, donkey, if you're going to go in there, I think you're going to need a gas mask, donkey. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Is he needs he you, need to you to stick your head in a porta potty, potty for 10 minutes. minutes. Bruh. I did it. I did it. It was so gross, but I did it. <laughs> that was payback, Daddy, for you making me in your green bean. Wait, what? We got you good, Mario. W we? Wait, you were a part of this? I did the makeup. Makeup? Yeah, Daddy. This is all makeup. Come on, pretty girl. And who do you think really amputated Jeffy's arm so you could pull it off? Me. So all you guys were in on this? Why? Mario, you shouldn't force feed Jeffy to eat green beans. Yeah, Daddy, and whatever you experienced out in that porta potty is exactly what happens every time I have to eat green beans. I guess you guys are right. I shouldn't just force feed Jeffy green beans. I, I should actually feed him nutritional foods and, and with protein and, and other types of stuff from the food pyramid. It shouldn't just be green beans. I'm sorry, Jeffy, for all these years of me trying to force feed you green beans. I promise I'll be a better dad and feed you different foods. Pee pee! That's what I'm talking about, Daddy! Alright, Jeffy, where's my 20 bucks? No, oh, it's right here. There you go. Thank you. Alright, Jeffy, come on, let's go get your arm sewed back on. Alright. Patrick, get in here, it's time for dinner! your shirt. I used it as toilet paper and I tried to flush it down the toilet so now it's stuck. Patrick, we've talked about this. T-shirts aren't toilet paper. Who's McDonald's is this? Can I have a french fry? Yes, Patrick, it's your dinner. You got me McDonald's? That's crazy. 
Chicken nuggets! <laughs> Mommy, look, this one's shaped like the state of Florida. We should sell it on eBay for a million billion dollars. Okay, Patrick, I also got you a milkshake. A milkshake? And it's purple? How'd they even do that? Okay, you eat your dinner, I'll be in the other room. I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> My milkshake! Grimace! <laughs> Shut the hell up and tell me what happened. I gave my son McDonald's, I left the room, I came back and found him like this! Yeah, likely story, <laughs> liar! What? I didn't do this! Oh, sure you didn't, murderer. Simmons, <laughs> take her away! All right, man, you're coming with me. Hello, sir. Hey, Susan, I just got done talking to the murderer. What do we got? Child found dead, mother still alive. They were the only two in the house. Yep, she definitely did it. Yeah, she didn't like him and she wanted to go out and party, so she killed him. The child's shirt was also clogging the toilet, sir, but I didn't notice until after I peed. Yeah, she probably strangled him with the shirt and tried to flush it down the toilet. Too bad we can't use it as evidence now that you peed on it. There goes our evidence, right down the drain. Any fingerprints on the kid? I found ten fingerprints, sir, but they were all his own. Hmm, run those anyway, just in case. She might have touched him only on his fingers. What's this purple shit? Grimace milkshake, sir. Oh, thank God. Oh, I thought it was his blood and maybe I was going colorblind. Or like maybe he was an alien or something. Still, what a waste. Well, I guess there's no use crying over spilled milk. Shake. Good one, sir. Sir, I do have to tell you, this is the 700 reported death with the Grimace milkshake found nearby. Oh, that's just a coincidence. It's a popular milkshake. You know, if everybody in the world has one of these, some of those people are going to die, and then they're going to drop the milkshake right next to their dead body. But sir, you don't think there's a chance that the milkshake's been poisoned? Oh no, I know Grimace personally. He would never poison his own milkshakes. Wait, you know Grimace? Yeah, we went to high school together. We go way back. Love Grimace. Big teddy bear of a guy. I mean, I don't know what the hell he is, but he's great. What, you don't believe me? I'll call him. Yes, call him so we can Question him! Okay, you don't believe me, I'll call Grimace. Okay, Susan, it's ringing. Look, I'll even put it on speaker for you. Hello? Hey there, Grimace, it's me, Brooklyn Guy. Oh, hey, buddy! Hey, happy late birthday, by the way. Sorry I didn't get you anything. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I just wanted to ask, we've been finding a lot of dead people next to your milkshakes. Yeah, maybe because it's my milkshake. Y yeah, it is your milkshake. Yeah, it is my milkshake. I are you on the toilet? Because it sounds like you're straining. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm on the toilet. Die! Yeah, you really show that turd who's boss. Yeah, you little turd. That sounds more like a big one to me. You piece of shit. Yeah, I, I get it, Grimace. That's what you get for drinking my milkshake. Yeah, you really yell at your poops a lot. Yeah, so anyway, like I was saying, it's my milkshake for my birthday. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was your birthday. Yeah, my birthday. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure you weren't going around, like, killing people or something. Me? Kill somebody? No. Oh. Oh, great. That's all I needed to hear, Grimace. Yeah, but just make sure no one else drinks my milkshake because they might end up dead. Okay, well, that was weird, but it was nice talking to you, Grimace. Okay, bye. Bye. See, Susan, he said he didn't kill anybody. If you say so, sir. I do say so, and I also declare this case closed. Get this body out of here. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Well, guys, I went to McDonald's to get my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week, and I found out it's Grimace's birthday! Well, actually, his birthday was about a month ago, but they're still selling the meal, and it comes with a shake! Whoa, it's purple! Dude, that looks sick! What's it taste like? Oh, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet. Can I try it first before you spit in the straw? Yeah, I do like to spit right inside the straw. I don't know how straws work. Oh, I gotta try it next! Oh, I wanna try it first. Okay, get to sucking, and then you can try the shake. Shut up, Cody, I'm gonna try it. Wait, 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 the news. Breaking news, UK. Hundreds of people all around the world are mysteriously dying after drinking the Grimace shake from McDonald's. McDonald's is discontinuing the shake until they can figure out the cause. Oh, no. No, Junior, didn't you hear the news? People are dying after they drink this. The only way you can die from drinking a milkshake is if you drink it too fast and get a brain freeze and go into a coma. Or if you get obesity from eating too much McDonald's. But not that many people would die from that. Dying from obesity, Cody? You know the obesity rate in America is 42.4%, so there's a chance that an obese person is drinking a milkshake that they're not supposed to be drinking, and they die. Well, I think they were saying there's an ingredient in the milkshake that's killing people. <gasps> there's poison in the milkshake? Well, maybe, yeah. Well, then you try it. I'm not gonna drink poison. Well, it's your milkshake, dude. Yeah, you paid money for 
it, you should try it first. Well, you're the one who wanted it. Well, I don't want to try it. You try it, Joseph. I'm not trying that. You try it. Well, Cody, you try it. I don't want to drink it. Okay, then how are we going to find out who tries it first? Uh, How about we play a game of poker and whoever loses has to try it first? What, really? An entire game of poker just to figure out who's going to drink this milkshake? But you don't know how to play poker? You're bad at poker? What, no, how about we just draw straws? Draw straws? Ooh, he don't know what he's talking about. Okay, Cody, we can draw straws. Come on, Joseph, let's get some paper. Yeah, let's show his ass. What? All right, Cody, check out my straw drawing. Nah, dude, check out my straw drawing. Whoa, you drew a McDonald's straw? Yeah, I tried to stay on theme, you know? Aw, oh, man, you made a bendy straw? That's sick. All right, Cody, where's your straw drawing? No, idiots. What? I didn't say draw pictures of straws. I meant that we all get straws, we cut the straws, we pull the straws, and whoever has the shortest straw loses. Nah, 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 nah you, you didn't, didn't say, say that. that. Nah. No, you said draw straws, so we drew straws. Yeah, you changing the rules now, dude. But, but that's what drawing straws is. It's what you pull straws. You should said pull straws. You said draw straws. So yeah. we grabbed paper and we drew straws. So where's your straw drawing? Well, I didn't draw one because you're not supposed so to. So you lose. Yeah, you lose. lose automatically. Yeah, we drew straws. Yeah. You didn't draw a straw. So you lose. You had to drink the milkshake. No, yeah. but that's not how yeah, that's exactly how it works. Fine. I will drink the milkshake. Shit. Interesting. How's it taste? Like, like blueberry muffins. Does it, it taste like poison? No. Anthrax? No. I mean, I don't really feel bad. I don't really know why people are dying from this. <laughs> Is that Grimace? Come here, you bitch, I'll kill you! Oh, what's oh. going on? He took a sip of my milkshake! I mean, I bought it. I'll kill you! Hey, he didn't actually take a sip. What? Uh, yeah, no, I don't know how to use straws, so I just spit in the straw. Yeah, he's bad at sucking. Well, no, 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 I'm good at sucking. I just don't know how to use straws. If you're looking for a good time, holla at your boy. Then how do you know my milkshake tastes like blueberries? I, 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 I could smell it. Oh, yeah? Let me smell your breath. I don't brush my teeth. Let me smell your breath! <sighs> Ew, gross. Yeah, I warned you. So why are you doing this, Grimace? Why are you so mad? Because I'm killing everybody that takes a sip of my milkshake after my birthday. Why? Because it's my milkshake, not yours, not his, my milkshake. It's not that serious, bro. Yeah, it's just a milkshake. Well, just make sure you don't take a sip, because if you do, I'll kill you. Well, how will you know if we take a sip? Because I can hear it when people take a sip. You don't have ears. I have ears like a dolphin, so don't take a sip and throw it away. Okay, damn. I kind of want to take a sip of it now. Right? What? Guys, no! Well, he, he's not going to know. He's killed hundreds of people. I mean, if he's killing people over a milkshake, he got to be good. Yeah, I mean, I'll take the quietest sip ever. Yeah, he's not even in the room, dude. Yeah, like the, the, the tiniest, quietest Shh. sip. Shh. Junior, look. How long is he going to stand there for? Bruh, that's goofy. I think we should just throw this thing away. No, we're going to keep it because I want to take a sip. He's not even that scary. Bet you won't take a sip of it in front of his face, dude. Bet. Give me the milkshake. But no, no, Junior, don't. <laughs> hey, what are you doing with that? I'm going to go throw it away. Okay, good. You better not take a sip. I might take a sip. No, you better not. Ah. Stop that. Ah. Stop that like that. Hey, stop it. I just put my mouth on the straw. Okay, good. You better not take another tip. <laughs> well, make it bubbles. Okay, good. Hey, give it to me. Well, how am I going to do that? Uh, the door's closed. Open the door. What? Open the door. I think I'm just going to throw it away. Okay, good. Okay, guys, I took a sip. No, you didn't, dude. When I was blowing bubbles, a little bit got in my mouth. What? But he's joking. Okay, good. <sighs> So what should we do? I think we should call the cops because he's just admitted to murder. Okay, and he's standing right there, so when the cops show up, they'll be able to get him right there. Yeah, yeah, so I'll go get my phone. Okay, guys, it's ringing. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, you know Grimace, the purple guy from McDonald's? Well, he's staring at me right now, and he told us that he killed a whole bunch of people for drinking his milkshake. Okay, listen, kid. I know Grimace personally, and I know he would never kill anybody. As a matter of fact, he told me that earlier tonight. I'll kill you! Who was that? That was Grimace. Well, how do I know that's not one of your friends doing a Grimace impression? I'm the real Grimace, and if you take a sip of my milkshake, I'll kill you just like I killed those other 700 people! Did, did you hear him say all that? Well, yeah, that, that is kind of weird, but I don't know. Look, could you just please come over? Okay, fine, I'll be over there to take a look. Yeah, when you get here, the front door is going to be unlocked, so you can just come right upstairs. Hey! Don't take a sip of that! Ugh, I hate responding to prank calls. Well, he said the front door would be open. 
Oh, it is. Oh, hey, Grimace. Hey, buddy. What, what, what you doing? I'm just making sure these kids don't take a sip of my milkshake. Well, why shouldn't they drink your milkshake? Because it's my milkshake. Okay, well, I'm just going to go in and talk to them. Okay, well, make sure they don't take a sip of my milkshake. Okay, will do. Okay, good. Okay, kids, what's with the prank call? It's not a prank call. Grimace is really here. You just talked to him. Well, yeah, everything else you told me on the phone was true, but that doesn't mean Grimace is trying to kill people. Listen, officer, Grimace is trying to kill people. He's trying to kill anyone who takes a sip of his milkshake. That's ridiculous. Look, I'll show you. Hey, don't take a sip of that milkshake. I'll kill you. I'll rip your arms up and beat you to death with them, you bad dude. I'll see you drunk, you pussy. Grimace, you good, buddy? Don't let them take a sip of my milkshake. Take a sip of the milkshake. Then he'll kill me. He's not going to kill anybody. He's nice. So you promise if he tries to kill me, you'll shoot him? It's not going to come to that. Just take a sip. So if he tries to kill me, you'll shoot him, right? I'm a cop. I'm not going to let anything happen to you, okay? Just take a sip. Okay, I will. Hey, Grimace, I'm going to take a sip of the milkshake. Don't do it. Go ahead. Hey! Grimace! What are you doing Grimace, no, calm down. Grimace, Grimace, no. Grimace, I'm going to kill you. Put the kid down. Put the kid down, Grimace. Grimace, 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 Grimace,
Oh no, a coma, oh no. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I'm just kinda eyeballing it, but we're gonna go with coma for now until he wakes up. Oh, okay. Okay, so about that hit and run. We don't have to worry about the hit and run, the guy's long gone by now, and he'll learn his lesson one day, karma will get him. N no, he committed a crime, and he's going to jail for a long, 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 long time. Uh, a long, 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 long time? Oh, a long, 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 long time. How long is a long, 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 long time? Like 30 years long. <gasps> 30 years? I'll be like 70, I mean, I mean, uh... Uh, okay, uh, so yeah, th yeah. let's figure out who that is if we ever find him. Yeah, if we ever find him. Tell me what happened. Okay, so my son was riding a horse in the road, and then the car I, hit I, him. And I'm sorry, your son was riding a horse? Yeah, but my son was riding a horse in the road, and a car hit him and drove off. So, so the horse got hit by the car, too? Yes. Uh, is, is the horse okay? Should I be getting my vet outfit? Oh, no, 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 the horse wasn't real. Oh, it was an imaginary horse. No, 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 the horse is a thing, it just wasn't real. I, I'm sorry, is the horse alive or dead? No, it, it, it's, it's dead. It, it's never been alive. Uh, okay, so your son was riding a stillborn horse? No, 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 it's like an adult horse. Your son was riding a dead adult horse? I mean, yes, I mean, the horse has never been alive, so it's like a dead adult horse. Oh my gosh, it was a stuffed horse! Oh, why didn't you just say that? Well, because it is a stuffed horse, but it also is like a machine. It has like this bouncy mechanism. I don't care. I don't care about the horse. Why are you talking to me about a horse? Because you asked what happened. He was riding the bouncy mm, stuffed horse. I don't care about the horse. Okay, tell me about the car. What did the car look like? It was a, it was a red car, and it was going super fast, and it, 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 hit, it hit him, and it drove off. Okay, okay. So where's the horse? What, the, the, the horse? I don't know. You said you didn't care about the horse. I mean, you're right, but I'm... The, the, the horse, like, it's in the road. There might be pieces of it in the grill of the car. Okay, okay. Red horse car. I can work with that. Who was driving red horse car? It was some guy. I didn't see him. He had a, he had a phone in front of his face. Okay, okay. He has a phone. What, what, what else did he look like? I mean, I didn't really see much. I, I think he had a mustache. A mustache? Okay, what color was the mustache? Uh, 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 uh orange. Brown orange. Oh, no. It, it wasn't me, was it? No, no, no. I mean, you can tell me if it's me. I can handle the truth. I'll arrest myself. It's okay. I, I, I mean, it, it, I mean, it could be you. I don't know. Hmm. I feel like I'd remember hitting a dead adult horse. Hmm. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it was me. It wasn't me. You know, you know that song? It's by Shaggy. Yeah, I know that song. But okay, so yeah, no, yeah. So it wasn't you. It was just some random guy with a mustache. Random guy in a horse car with a mustache owns a phone. Okay, okay. I think that's enough to go on. Uh, I'm gonna track this guy down, but man, I really wish your son would wake up so he can tell me who hit him. Wait, 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 yeah. wait. Wait, do you think my son will remember who hit him? I mean, he's wearing a helmet, so yeah, probably. When he wakes up, how can I make him not remember? Okay, that was another weird one. I'm gonna remember that, too. You, you're being weird. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. You're weird. Mario, when do you think Jeffy's going to wake up? Hopefully not anytime soon. Mario, why would you say that? Uh, because, you know, he just got hit by a car, so I bet he's in a lot of pain. And I'd rather him be in a coma so he doesn't feel the pain. Wait a second, Mario. We have cameras outside. What if the cameras caught the guy who hit Jeffy? Yeah, you're right. We do have cameras outside. Well, let's go check. No, 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 no. I, I will go check the cameras. You should stay here and make sure Jeffy keeps breathing. Okay, Mario. Yeah, yeah, you stay here. Don't, don't follow me. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Uh... Destroying my security camera? Yeah, I can see that. I guess I was mostly just wondering why. Oh, because, uh, don't tell my wife, but earlier I made out with the ice cream man and the camera caught it and I, I didn't want her to see it. Oh, who hasn't been there, right? Yeah, I just wanted free ice cream. I didn't have any money, so I made out with the ice cream man. Yeah, what kind of ice cream you get? Uh, the, the SpongeBob with the messed up eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's worth making out with an ice cream man. You, uh, sure you're not destroying that because it saw you doing something illegal? No, no, it's America. Can't a man destroy his own security camera so his wife doesn't see him make out with the ice cream man? Yeah, yeah, I guess you can do that, but, uh, you're not doing a very good job. The light's still on. Oh, it's still working. We can fix that. <laughs> yeah, I, I would actually stop doing that if I were you. Oh, well, uh, did you, uh, did you find the red horsey car? No, no, not yet, but I am still on the lookout for a red horse car being driven by a guy with a mustache who isn't me and owns a phone. What? Who's that? Now that looks like a red horsey car. Excuse me, sir, is this your car? Yeah, I'm driving it. Are you blind? Hmm, he has a mustache. I do. H hold on. What? Look, there's a horse emblem on the car. Red horsey car. Yeah, 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 red horsey car. Oh, I think this might be the guy. Excuse me, sir, do you own a cell phone? Yes. What's with all the dumb questions? Okay, I think this might be our guy. Hold on, let's check the grill and see if there's a horse stuck in it. What? All right, let's check the grill. Oh man, do you see what I see? 
A horse? Yeah, there's a horse in the grill of his car. I think this might be our man. Hold on, let's check the facts. He has a mustache, he drives a red horsey car, there's a horse in the grill of his car, and he owns a phone. He also came back to the scene of the crime, which most criminals do. I think this might be our guy. The only question now is, does this look like the car that hit your son? Uh... Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, this is the car. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah, it looks just like it. Okay, I'm gonna go arrest him. This is effing ridiculous. Excuse me, sir. Step out of the car, please. Why? Because you're under arrest for a hit and run. I didn't hit anybody! You're telling me you didn't hit a kid on a horse today? What the? No, I didn't hit Yankee Doodle coming to town while I was driving my Ferrari. Yeah, well, we have a witness who saw you hit a kid who was riding a horse. But I didn't hit anybody! Then what are you doing here? I came here to get Mario's house payment! Oh, yeah, that's a very likely story. But look, we have a witness who saw you in your horsey car hit a kid and maybe a horse. I'm, I'm not really sure if the horse was there or if the horse was real or dead or imaginary, but, but look, you're under arrest! Well, I'm gonna be calling my lawyer. Okay, but just let me arrest you first. We'll figure that out later. <sighs> Fine. Hey! Ah! Baby, they found the guy that ran over Jeffy! They did? Who did it? It was Mr. Goodman. Oh my gosh, well, I'm glad he's finally behind bars. Poor Jeffy! Yeah, or poor Jeffy, but finally justice was served. Yeah, he's finally locked up. And since I solved the crime, I guess I don't need this hat anymore. <sighs> Danny, why did you run me over with your car? Huh? Oh no! What? Uh, well, uh, Jeffy, what are you talking about? You ran me over with your car when you were playing on your phone. Uh, no, no, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But Jeffy, I think you noodled your caboodle over you. Uh, you, 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 uh, you knocked your head. Something happened to your head. It wasn't me. It wasn't you. No, it wasn't me, Jeffy. It wasn't me. Yes, it was. I saw you driving the car with your phone in front of your face. I said, Daddy, stop. And you were, and you hit me. You know, you know, this actually makes a lot of sense when I saw you destroying that camera out there. No, I was destroying the camera because I didn't want my wife to see me make out with the ice cream man. You did that too, Mark. <laughs> okay, baby, you need to go just sit over there because I don't know what's going on. I, listen, I destroyed the camera. I didn't want her to catch me. Well, it's okay. We've all made out with the ice cream man, but I think you hit Jeffy. But no, I know I did not. Look, how about you ask him? Jeffy, did he hit you with his car? Wait a bit before you answer that, Jeffy. Do you want free ice cream? Yeah, he hit me with his car. Alright, you're under arrest. Oh, no, no, Jeffy, you're grounded! You, no, 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 I, it wasn't me! I, I promise it wasn't me! Well, now that my daddy's going to jail for a long time, I get to do whatever I want. I'm gonna go and ride my horsey in the street. Oh, come on, let me go. I don't want to go to jail. Your son already admitted you did it. The only way you're not going to jail is if your son doesn't want to press charges. <laughs> uh, Jeffy, do you want to press charges? Yep. What, Jeffy, come on, I'm your dad. No, I gotta go ride Sea Biscuit in the street. See you later. All right, come on. No! I don't want to go to jail. Hey, Mario. Well, Goodman, what are you doing here? How's my hair? Looks pretty good for just getting out of jail. Wait, how'd you get out already? Because I made bail. Because of course I did, because I'm rich. Yeah, well, it's fine, because we know you didn't do it anyway. It was him. Yeah, well, how much is his bail going to be? I don't know, probably a lot. All right, well, how about this? I'll give you $10,000 not to take him to jail and just let me have him. I'm going to make him feed me grapes through his butt cheeks. What? <laughs> okay, deal. Well, no, no, I'd rather go to jail. No, 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 come on, give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right, you're coming with me. No! Oh, uh, yeah, don't do bad things, I guess. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Oh, uh, dude, we should play Truth or Dare. <gasps> That'd be so fun. All right, Cody, Truth or Dare. But why do I have to go first? Truth or Dare. <sighs> Fine, Dare. I dare you to call your parents and say you died. <laughs> Dude, that would be so hilarious! Wait, you want me to call my parents and tell them that I died? Yeah! They're gonna know it's me when they hear my voice. Can't you do like a cop impression? Yeah, kind of. Oh, it's gonna be so funny. I know, dude. I can't wait for it. Okay, it's ringing. Hello, Cody? Uh, uh no, ma'am, it's not Cody, it's the police. Uh, we found your son's phone in the road because he got hit by an 18-wheeler. <laughs> oh my god, all 18 wheels? Uh, yes, ma'am, even the spare tire fell off and hit him. <laughs> Is he dead? Uh, I'm afraid so, ma'am. Yeah, he was he was flattened like a pancake. <laughs> oh, thank God. What? Hey, Tyrone, Cody's dead. We're finally free. What? Cody's dead? Oh, thank the Lord Jesus. Our son is dead. Uh, I mean, boo-hoo, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. We can finally go on that cruise. Yeah, baby. You're going to get all the cream pies you want. We're going to make another one. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for telling us the good news, officer. 
So were they sad? Yeah. Yeah, they, they were very sad, and they were crying, and it was very clear how much they loved me. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> they cried over you dying. <laughs> Who would <laughs> um, imagine? Right. All right, someone ask me. Someone ask me truth or dare. Uh, truth or dare. Dare. Uh, okay, I dare you to go throw all of Chef Pee-Pee's food on the ground. Oh, yeah, actually, I don't do that every night. Yeah, true. Mm-mm-mm, mm, my burnt turkey club sandwich is almost done. Mm, I can smell the flavors. Wait, Julia, what are you doing? Oh, Julia, what the hell? This is my dinner! Oh, I hate you! Oh, my burnt turkey club sandwich. <laughs> All right, Cody, I did it, and Chef Pee Pee got really mad. <laughs> That's funny. All right, Joseph, truth or dare? Uh, truth. What, you don't want to do dare? No, dude, I choose truth. You're such a wuss. Um, have you ever killed anyone? On accident or purpose? Uh, on purpose? <laughs> yeah. What happened? Uh, 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 you only get one question, dude. I don't think I want to know anymore. All right, Jeffy, truth or dare? Dare. Ooh, dude, I dare you to crash a car into a tree. What, Joseph, no, you're not supposed to hurt anyone. Dude, I'll do it. What, no, no Jeffy. See, see, he has a helmet on. It's safe. Right, he's not going to do that. And, and he also is the only one of us that has a car. No, this is a bad idea, guys. I'm going to do it, and I'll show you. What? But no! He's doing it! He's actually doing it! He's gonna be the truth or dare champion! The truth or dare god! Jeffy, I really wouldn't do this. And lose your dare? Mama ain't raised no bitch! Your mom didn't raise you at all! Exactly! <laughs> oh. All right, mate. There's one donut left. Hmm. I guess we could play rock, paper, scissors for it. Well, that won't work because our hands can only do paper. Yeah, you're right. Paper, paper, paper wouldn't really work. Um, how about we play I Spy and whoever can guess what the other person's looking at gets the donut. All right, I'll go first. I spy something green. Is it the grass? Damn it! Uh, okay, uh, I spy something... Hmm. I spy something yellow going very fast. Is it the sun? Well, no, Simmons, the sun doesn't move. Well, it kind of does because we orbit it. Well, no, but we're going around the sun. We're moving. The sun's not moving. Well, what if it's from what we see? Like, you know how the sun goes up and down? No, no Simmons, I already said it's not the sun. It, it was that car that just drove by very, very fast. Okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so you lose and I get the donut with the rainbow jimmies. Now, we're still going to pull that that guy over, I'm just gonna eat the donut while I'm driving. <laughs> Dispatch, we have a car that's not pulling over. I repeat, he's not pulling over, and this donut is delicious. Hmm, what train should I run into? <laughs> Dispatch, he's going off road. How about that tree? That's the one. Yeah! Holy shit! Uh, Dispatch, he just crashed into a tree. Stand by, we might need an ambulance. Let's go check on him, Simmons. Uh, sir? Are you okay? I won truth or dare. I wonder if Jeffy crashed that car. Hey, hey kids, get off our couch! Get out of here, you bunch of goobers! Marvin, you could have said please. No, this is our couch. We sit here. Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you rubbing your ass on the couch. What, uh, the cops? What are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, your son Jeffy crashed his car into a tree. What? Is he okay? He's hurt. Oh my god! How's the car? No, no, seriously, how's the car? Like, is it okay? Oh, it's total. Are you sure? Yeah, come look. Oh, no. Does this look total to you? What, Jeffy did this? Yep. Oh, I am so sorry, officer. Hey, that's my three. Look what he did in my three. What? This is the mayor, Tuna Fish Terry. He's mad because your son crashed his car into this tree. Yeah, me and my high school, we are. We kidding on the tree. Yeah, he says he kissed his high school sweetheart under this tree, so he's mad that your son crashed his car into it. Also, I think your son might have started a forest fire a while back that burned this tree, so yeah, he is suing you. What, suing? Yeah, goddamn right. I'm gonna throw the tail out you get more tooth fit. What? Yeah, he's suing you. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, is Jeffy okay? The car's total. But what about Jeffy? He's right here. I put my doctor outfit on because we're going to be talking about doctor stuff. Jeffy, are you all right? Well, my neck is broken. Yeah, he has a hairline fracture in his cervical vertebrae. Is he in a lot of pain? Oh, this right here is like a 6 out of 10. See, this one time I had testicular torsion where my nuts get all tangled up and twisted around. That was a 10 out of 10. And believe me, I'm a doctor. I know. I know how to read that little smiley face chart. So is everything going to be okay? Oh, it's okay now. Yeah, they did a surgery and got it untangled. It's kind of like when you put your headphones in your pocket and they come out all tangled, except it's my balls. Not with you, with Jeffy! Oh yeah, he's fine. He's got a neck brace on. My balls do still hurt sometimes, though. Well, as long as everything's okay with Jeffy. Well, he is getting sued by the mayor for hitting the mayor's favorite tree with his car. Oh, is the tree all right? Oh, I mean, nothing happened to the tree. It was the berries that got a little tangled up on the vine, but the tree's fine. I, I mean, it does have a slight natural curve, but I looked it up and apparently that's normal. And sometimes it's even more pleasurable for the woman. 
Oh, you guys aren't talking about my dick. You're talking about the tree that he hit. No, I don't know. I'm not a botanist, man. Don't they study robots? Uh, yeah, look, okay, Jeffy has court today, so I gotta get ready because I'm actually the lawyer he's going up against in the trial, so I have a lot of paperwork to do, and I have to change clothes for the third time today. Oh, Jeffy, now we have to get you a lawyer because you have to go to court. We can't even afford a lawyer. Just go to court. Just go do it. I don't care. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no. Soy el honorable juez bube. Wait, no, sorry, that was in Spanish. I just had a Spanish language case before this one, and I haven't adjusted yet. I'll start over. Order, order, order! I am the Honorable Judge Boober, and today we will be hearing the case of Jeffy versus Tuna Fish Terry's tree. Now, Tuna Fish Terry, tell me what happened. I just did on my back for these two bit, all of a sudden, that car come around the corner hit my tree. I was like, yeah, maybe I'm gonna spill a two bit. I don't. Um, I, I didn't understand anything he just said. I, I speak Spanish, but I don't speak whatever the hell that was. Can we get an interpreter, please? I'll translate for you, Judge. Uh, my client was trying to say that he was sitting on his back porch eating tuna fish when he saw a car come around the corner and hit his tree, and he was so startled he almost spilled his tuna fish. I, I was actually a cop pursuing that vehicle, so I can confirm all of that is true. Oh, I see. Now, Jeffy, why did you crash your car in the tuna fish Terry's tree? My friends and I were playing truth or dare, and one of my friends dared me to crash my car into a tree. So I ain't no bitch, so I did it. Ow! Jesus. What were you saying? I'm sorry. I was playing truth or dare with my three friends, and one of them dared me to crash my car into a tree. Oh, it was a dare for truth or dare. I see. Well, who dared you to crash your car into that tree? Because it's their fault. I mean, obviously you're going to do the dare. You're not a bitch. So who dared you to do it? It was one of my friends. I can't remember which one did it. I see. Go grab his friends. If they're not here, go grab them. It's a court order. Just tell them that and then bring them here. Uh, what's going on? Am I in trouble? I ain't saying nothing, dude. You three boys were playing a game of truth or dare, and one of you dared Jeffy to crash his car into a tree. So who was it? Who was it? God damn it, tell me! Look, guys, if we don't tell them anything, they won't know. It was Joseph! Yeah, Look, y'all, y'all are snitches! Aha, uh -huh. so you were the dare of the dare. And the rules of truth or dare clearly state that the dare of the dare shall not be spared, but the doer of the dare shall be spared of any bodily harm or property damage they may have incurred as a result of doing a dare. What I'm trying to say is, Jeffy is cleared from this case. But you, Joseph, you knew Jeffy was going to do the dare when you dared him to do the dare, so this is your fault and Tuna Fish Terry should be suing you. I order you to pay Tuna Fish Terry for the damage to his tree, which is whatever he says it is. It's a, it's a tree, I don't know, it's sentimental. What? I don't have any money to pay for that! Judge, I didn't do it! I don't want to hear it! This case is closed! Boom! Now, if you'll excuse me, I will drink my orange, I see. Come to me, I see. Mm. 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 That is delicious. And very high in sea. If I were a pirate, I could sail the high seas. <laughs> and I wouldn't even get scurvy because it's very high in vitamin C. Case dismissed. Oh, I hate you guys! Well, he did make the dare. Yeah. Oh, I hate you guys. I don't want to be around you. Leave. But this is my house, Joseph. Well, go into another room then. But this is my house, Joseph. Oh, shut up. Well, you did dare Jeffy to crash his car. That doesn't mean you have to snitch on me then. But you did dare Jeffy, so it was your fault. Duh, that doesn't mean you have to tell. <sighs> Whatever, Joseph. Look, we're still playing truth or dare, so I dare you not to be mad. <laughs> Uh, well, how much did Tuna Fish Terry want for his tree, anyway? He wanted a hundred dollars, and I don't have that type of money. A hundred dollars? Yeah. Well, I have that much in my wallet. Well, give it to me! Well, no, it's my hundred dollars. Well, you don't need it. Well, I, I want it. I'm gonna buy a new tea party set. Hey, Cody, I dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. No, it's not worth it. I double-dog dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. No, I don't care. I triple-dog dare you to give Joseph that hundred dollars. <laughs> Shit! Ha! <laughs>